Rise from your grave. Hey Quakers, welcome once again to another episode of The Quake Grave. Today we're taking a look at Anoxia. This is by Paul Cook. It was released on August 31st of 1996. This map seems to have a little bit of a reputation. Um, so let's jump in and see if that reputation has been earned. Here we are in Anoxia. And we got a dog coming after us and we have the weirdest looking... What is this? What the hell is going on in this map? <laughs> it's like a ramp. Woo! Let's take the ramp. Just for fun. Another dog. Okay, we blow up the dog. And we go back to shotgun. Oh, hmm. Just, I know, it's, <laughs> it's one of the first times watching an episode you're probably like, wow, he's somewhat speechless. I don't know what's happening here. There's a torch under this, like, skateboard ramp with, like, cut room textures and... I don't know what's happening. I don't know where I am. I don't know if I'm safe anymore. There's a scrag up there. So we take out the scrag. Or if we can get through here. Where did he go? Okay, there he is. Okay, the scrag is done, and... There are apparently... There are ten enemies in this map. So we just took out three of them. But where else are we supposed to go? Is there a door around here somewhere? Oh, here's some water. Okay, I see. And some areas that are blocking us from going anywhere. Oh, boy, okay. Let's switch back to our rocket launcher. Whoa, and a Hell Knight. Blow that guy up. Whoa, I am just about dead here. Is that everybody? It's 8 out of 10. Apparently there are two more. But I am damn near out of health. No idea where the other enemies might be. Oh, maybe up there? Is there a dude way up there? There was! Okay, the ogre's dead, but there's still one more enemy somewhere. I thought that was a dude up there, I could not tell. All right, this is <laughs> this room. I don't even know what to say about this. Really, this is. I try to I try to be really nice when I'm playing these levels for that people have made over the years and whatnot. But there's not really another word for it besides kind of ugly. Grab this armor, which is on this really thin panel for no reason. Okay, we grab some health. Okay, and the other guy is right here. And that is the 10 out of 10 enemies, and there's no secrets. Grab that. And I cannot even jump back up here. Is the exit at the end of where... Okay, so the water does connect over there. I can, yeah, I can't even... There, oh, there we go. Okay, we are back up. Torches in the middle of this weird walkway, which I, I thought this was more water because the texture looks so much like the, the water texture, but I guess not. Let's see what we got in here. Can we go up? Okay, this takes us back to the start area. Okay, so there's water in each... Like, weird swimmable water areas on each side of the first room. Skateboard ramps on each side. Weird floating torches and orbs for no reason. And... Okay, now we're back up here. Alright, so... <laughs> I think this this might really be it for Anoxia. You got this cool strobe effect here going for... Uh, going with the, uh, the weird crucifixion texture there. Which is kind of cool, I guess, but is there is there an exit to this map? So yeah, when I when I started this video at the beginning, I said that you know this map has somewhat of a reputation. I and 
I don't, I don't know if that really means that you know it's well known throughout the Quake community that this is a kind of an awful map, but you know if you're if you're on the Quidicted.com website, you look up Anoxia, and uh, you take a look at what people have said about it. It's quite obvious this is not a well liked map. Oh, there was the lightning gun. Had no idea it was there. And, uh, you know, judging from their comments and the way this looks, you can kind of see why. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what Paul was going for here when he created this. Like, I think it's kind of interesting, like, the, the water shafts here, but it's like, but why? What is the point of any of this stuff, you know? Is this more meant to be a deathmatch map? I would assume, because it doesn't seem like there's an exit anywhere. We'll, we'll do a search for it in a second here, but like, just looking at the texture usage for stuff, like, I don't know what it is with using this wood paneling texture in maps, and then the map not being great, but like, I remember playing, uh, I think it was a QPI start, is that correct? Like, m last year at some point? The whole first room was nothing but wood paneling, and that, that map was... Definitely not something to remember. We'll just we'll just say that. But you know, you gotta. I mean, if you're putting crates in here, like line them up with the, you know, line the texture up with the with the box with the brush. Like make it so it actually looks like what it is. What, what is this dark area right here? Why is it only dark right here? So that I mean, these questions stand because, you know, as a player, you're gonna look at this and it's. I mean, it's not even a map you could call subpar really you know it's uh, you, when you make a map as a mapper I mean you, it's it's not so much that you have to be like perfect I mean you, there's no way you're gonna be able to compete with you know some of the guys who've been doing it for so long and, and be able to, to create these masterpieces of, of maps out there but if you're if you're making a map it's a good idea to make it competent you know make sure that when you release it you have a, a fair idea of what you're going for with your map because if, if someone's playing it and even they don't get anything out of it after you make it then that's that's kind of bad news it's one thing to create a map and kind of kind of be working on it for a while and lose sight of what you're doing uh, with it or, or where you're going with it but when you when that happens to you it's probably best to take a break and come back to it later but who knows, in 1996, this is probably more a case of, oh, I'm super excited, uh, Quake just came out a couple months ago, I made this map, can't believe I was actually able to put something into the game, let's release it so other people can see it. And a lot of times it's not the best thing to do, there was a grenade launcher there too. So dark you can't see it though. Okay, um, after that rant, let's, uh, let's put on... Uh, no clipping here and let's let's take a look around and see if there is actually an exit to this because I don't think there is gonna be because here's the first room where we started there's a skateboard ramp so you can get a better better view of the crazy strobing crucifixion texture there as we go around here yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else but what's in these two rooms here and that's unfortunate. So, I, yeah, I would assume Paul was attempting to create some sort of deathmatch map here. And, you know, it, is this compared to all the deathmatch maps that have come out over the past, you know, 20 something years of Quake, you really think that people are going to load this one up and be like, man, let's, <laughs> let's play a round of Anoxia, huh? No, it's. That's, that's the one thing you got to keep in mind when you're creating maps. Obviously, it was hard back in 96. I mean, you weren't thinking that that far in advance. You weren't thinking about, like, will people be playing this map this far on? But there's people who made maps for Quake back in the 90s, you know, uh, for, for Deathmatch. Like, uh, one that comes off the top of my head is ZTN. You know, he, he made a lot of really good Deathmatch maps back then. And uh, you can still play them today, and they're a lot of fun. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. What went wrong here? That's the real question. It's one of those things I bring up every once in a while where I'm like, man, I really wish I can get in contact with some of these old mappers and ask them about their maps. You know, I ask them about, like, hey, hey you made this... Oh, man, there was a teleporter there? <laughs> Wait, let's do that again. 
So if you go, if you're up there, you jump through. Yeah, okay, there was a teleporter there. Really weird. Yet another, added to another question that I would like to ask uh, Paul Cook for his map, Anoxia. Let's see what exactly he was thinking, what exactly he was going for with the map. Might be something as simple as like, hey, I didn't know what I was doing, I just put it out as quick as I could because I made something. But who knows, maybe he really was going for something. Maybe there was an idea behind this, but until we talk to him or until someone tracks him down, I guess we'll never know. But hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that, I guess that was Anoxia. Until next time, Quickers.